developed to meet the USAF's Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF, requirement for an F-15 replacement. Requirement for a new fighter was issued in the early 1980s. Two companies competed to meet this USAF requirement, including Lockheed Martin, which teamed up with Boeing and General Dynamics, with a YF-22 prototype and Northrop, which teamed with McDonnell Douglas, with its YF-23. In 1991 the YF-22 design was announced the winner. It was more agile than the YF-23, but less stealthier and slower. Between 1990 to 1997 two YF-22A prototypes evaluated some of the technologies proposed for the production ATF. The EMD contract issued in August 1991 called for 11, later reduced to 9, F-22s, two were planned as F-22B two-seaters, but this aspect of the program was cancelled in 1996 as a cost-saving measure. The first EMD F-22A made the type's maiden flight in 1997. By early 2001 the four available EMD aircraft had demonstrated the type's excellent capabilities. However, the U.S. Congress called into question the value of such a costly, high-profile program. Low-rate initial production of the F-22 was finally approved subject to compliance with stringent objectives. Production of the Raptor ceased in 2011. The last F-22 was delivered to the USAF in 2012. Currently the USAF operates 186 operational F-22 fighters. This air dominance fighter forms the core of the USAF's warfighting selection. Interestingly, the F-22 was never offered for export customers, even other NATO countries. This advanced aircraft cannot be exported to other countries under the US federal law. The F-22's configuration is designed to meet VLO criteria, key features including a trapezoidal wing whose angles are repeated on other surfaces to reduce radar signature, canted fins and internal weapons bay. The F-22 Raptor has a radar cross-section of 0.0001 square meters. It is similar to that of the F-117 Nighthawk Stealthy Ground Attack Aircraft and B-2 Spirit Stealthy Strategic Bomber. However the F-22 is a more modern aircraft. It was designed using far more advanced computers and has aerodynamic surfaces, while maintaining stealth. The core of the offensive avionics is provided by the APG-77 multimode radar and a side-mounted phased array radar. The highly integrated avionics systems also include a data link, inertial navigation system with embedded GPS for high-accuracy navigation, and advanced electronic warfare, warning and countermeasure systems. Two central computers manage the automatic switching of the sensors between completely passive and wholly active operation, according to the tactical situation. Artificial intelligence algorithms fuse data from the sensors and present only relevant information to the pilot to reduce workload while at the same time improving tactical awareness. The data link allows tactical information to be shared with other F-22s. It is worth mentioning, that many of sensors and avionics of this plane remain classified. The F-22 carries four AI and 120C medium-range air-to-air missiles in its internal weapon bay. These missiles have a range of 105 kilometers. It is likely that more capable AI and 120D missiles with a range of around 160 kilometers and better guidance will be used, once these will become fully operational with the US Air Force. Initially, the F-22 used the AIM-9M Sidewinder missiles for visual range air combat. Up to four of these missiles can be carrier. Eventually these were replaced by the next generation AIM-9X missiles. These missiles were integrated in 2016. Interestingly, the F-22 was the last American fighter aircraft to receive the AIM-9X missiles. Other US fighter aircraft used these missiles since the early 2000s. There is also an M61A2 rotary six-barrel cannon for close-in engagements. The F-119 engines have high power rating. These allow the F-22 to supercruise over long ranges. Thrust vectoring nozzles, combined with a triplex fly-by-wire flight control system, make this aircraft exceptionally agile. 
The F-22 started life as a straightforward air superiority fighter. However since its introduction this aircraft lacks a formidable air threat from other countries' fighters. Later it evolved towards the multi-role fighter, as strike capability was added. Currently it can additionally carry GBU, 32 Joint Directed Air Munitions and AGM-88 Harm Anti-Radiation Missiles. Variants X-44 Manta was a tailless version of the F-22 Raptor. The Manta acronym stands for Multi-Axis No-Tail Aircraft. The demonstrator was jointly designed by Lockheed Martin together with NASA. The aircraft featured a stretched delta wing without tail surfaces. Altitude control relied purely on the 3D thrust vectoring. Funding of the program ended in 2000. FB-22 Strike Raptor was a stealthy ground attack variant. The concept was revealed in 2002. The FB-22 was based on the F-22 airframe design, but had a number of differences. It was planned to be a two-seated, supersonic and stealthy bomber capable of penetrating deep into enemy's territory. Role-wise, the bombers would replace older aircraft, such as the retired F-111 Aardvark and the F-117 Nighthawk to fill the gap of a low-observable strike aircraft. At the time, the US Air Force USAF, was envisioned to operate 150 of these ground attack aircraft. However development of this stealthy strike aircraft was cancelled in 2006. As the United States ceased production of F-22s in 2011, the fate of FB-22 was also sealed permanently.